Hello, I'm James, and you're watching my walkthrough on installing Atom. We'll start by going down to Safari, the web browser, uh, clicking it, and opening the Atom website by typing into the address bar atom.io and hitting enter. Uh, once we've got that website up, all we need to do to download it is click the download button. Um, and that'll take a little while, but what will happen is it'll download that to your downloads folder, and then we'll open it from there. So let's start by going down to the downloads folder on the right hand side of the dock and clicking downloads to bring out this menu. Now it might look a little bit different for you but the important thing is you find the open and find a button and just click that to open up the downloads window. So once the downloads window is open uh, you'll see here, this is one way it can sometimes look like a bunch of big icons. I prefer to look at it as a list because it's easier to find the latest Downloads. So to change it to that, we'll click this list button here. And once we've got it in list view, uh, see the date modified heading. If we click that, it'll actually show us the newest downloads first. And that way we can find Adam by just looking at the top. I've only got two downloads, but if you've got like a hundred, it's nice to find it. Um, so I'll just fast forward this video to, cause otherwise it's going to take forever to download. Here we go, so Adam is almost done, and there we go, it's finished downloading. So, once it's finished downloading, all I need to do is click on Adam.app, and do that properly, and then drag that over to Applications. There you go, Adam's installed. And to launch it, we'll just go down to the bottom, click Launchpad as so, and then we'll click Adam. Now you may find like it's just happened here, that Apple doesn't want you to open it because it hasn't been downloaded from the Mac App Store. But that's okay, because all we need to do is click OK, then go over to the Applications area of your Finder, click that, find Adam.app by scrolling down a little bit, and then hold the Control button on your keyboard while clicking it to bring up this menu. And once you click Open, this time it will actually give you the option to open it. Um, so all we need to do is click Open, and then uh, your Mac will remember that Atom is a safe application and you won't need to go through that process anymore. So, welcome to Atom. I'll tell you a little bit more about how to use Atom to make a page in my next video. But for the moment, there's one more little trick I'd like to show you, which is you can actually get this little Atom icon to stay on your dock by control clicking, like I did before, going to options and clicking keep in dock. Now what you'll find is that even if we close Adam, Adam will still be down there in the dock, meaning you can click that anytime and open it to start programming. So there we go. Um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video where I explain how to use Adam to actually make a website. Thanks for watching.